Hey there, this video is called Live Ice Age Beast from the East Wales Forecast UK 2021. If you like this video and miss it, please, please, a thumbs up. Time at the moment, this is always 14 14 pm the alternate, and look, that is 2 14 pm the alternate, and it's the 31st of January 2021 again. So here we go, guys. The last day of January today. And you talk about the last month of the winter, February, it's going to be 28 days this year, not 29 days, thank goodness for that. So it's one of the weather guys for the future, talk about very cold, northeasterly winds, yep, yeah, east from the east, roughly, on the uh, 9th of February, roughly, very cold southeasterly winds by that point, quite cold, might be snow showers because of the southeast and southern England, no joke about that. Then southwesterly winds start to come in, might be cold weather in that as well, involved with snow across the northeast of England and Wales especially, and towards uh, Scotland. And then we'll be at the wind starts to come to the northeasterly by the end of by the middle of February. So about winds of the day from the southwesterly, yeah, the southwest winds of the next week across the uh, south of the UK, quite mild air, very wet weather across the south and southern England. Then the wind starts to go to the easterly wind by the time we get to the sixth of February into Sunday, uh, the seventh uh, of February. It's all about very cold east winds, beast on the east. It's potential, guys. I wouldn't be too hope too up too much though. The wind the reason it's been so um, cold and warm this winter across the UK is because but what the border the border vortex of doom has been quite weakened, guys. We're looking at it right now. This is it, guys. It's quite weakened. It's not as powerful as last winter and because it's been weakened. That's why we had cold weather coming from the east compared to Europe and mild wet weather from the Atlantic. It's been very mixed this winter, and that's why this weekend it had to snow much across southern England like it was supposed to uh, this weekend originally. That's why it keeps changing the forecast so much. That's why it's so variable at the moment. So let's get on with this. So it's about the border uh, vortex of doom. Yep, this is the 10 HPA. You know, the structure warming across the North Pole right now. This cold, warm air is keeping the colder weather or cold air at 10 HPA in check this winter. That's why it's not been so cold um, and so uh, well, so mild this winter across the whole of the UK like last winter um, because it's been more colder and more potential the mixed weather conditions this winter compared to last winter. This is the um, this is strategy warming. Well, this is the uh, upper air temperature or so, or what you'd call it, uh, 10 HPA at um, North Pole, and this is where the weather takes place. And you talk about the uh, black line, it has been an SSW, it's going to be a very, very slight one, not a very powerful one, it has gone down uh, slightly, it's still above the average grey line, so it's still going on uh, SSW across the North Pole, but it's not very powerful now, I tell you, it's where the weather takes place. This is the future weather forecast, this is the 8th of February, it looks like there might be a snow event across the whole of the UK again. I wouldn't take this literally, I wouldn't get too excited guys, um, this could be wrong, and this is GFS 12.7, I don't think this is going to happen, I wouldn't get too excited. Um, this could be a 45% chance this is happening, but it's potential this could happen, but I mean, I don't think so, but we'll see. Um, anyway, I think obviously we're supporting it, but we'll see what happens. Um, and the same on the 15th of February, but I don't think that's going to happen as well. I think it's more like the 15th. This is the weather forecast for Woking. Yeah, this is the weather forecast for Woking. And literally, you're talking about the weather today being quite grey and miserable. It might be snow or rain later on. And to that northeast wind, to that northwesterly wind uh, on that day, on Monday, the um, 1st of February. So it gets quite mild, 13 Celsius maybe, and uh, it'll be quite wet on Wednesday, it'll be sopping wet Wednesday, not nice day to be outdoors. Those days looking like a very uh, grey uh, day, high 10 Celsius, quite mild still, and it starts to go easterly, quite cold by Friday, and showers, and it gets colder. But I've noticed this winter across the south of UK, south of UK, across Wokita, look, and this weekend it's going to be very cold for this, for this winter, for this winter, beginning wise from January onwards, I've noticed it's been very cold the weekend, so very cold and snowy last weekend especially you can see what's going on it gets cold and it starts to get mild about the 5th to the 15th or 13th of uh, february across the across working town locally and this is what, what's going on now this is currently this is live you see where it's snowing the blue stuff is snow the rain is where the rain is and it is literally mainly rain over at the county sorry hampshire's got the snow at the moment you see what's going on right there this is live right now guys and these are the floods across the uk talking about uh, 76 flood uh, warnings 196 uh, flood alerts um, you name it, there's a lot of long across the UK right now, there's a lot of floods across the UK right now, you have been warned by the environmental industry right this minute guys, I'm not joking, you have been warned, there are a lot around at the moment across the UK, I'm not joking, you have been warned. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, we're the full speed of your voice, right, the spot the needs of the many, I've made the needs of the few, you have been warned, the environmental industry has warned you, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, buy the one, we're the full speed of your voice.